just the dog days of summer, the hottest days of the season in most countries in the northern hemisphere to include most of Europe and North America. And with El Nino weather hitting the waters of the Pacific and causing extended dryness, the hottest days on record on the planet have been in this month of July. Little wonder the Vatican and Pope Francis has renewed the call to ramp up the global crusade against climate change, as VOA's Veronica Balderas Iglesias reports. From Spain to Lebanon to the United States, the heat keeps breaking records this summer. The World Meteorological Organization attributes it to global warming. Buongiorno. On Sunday, Pope Francis shed light to the suffering climate change causes to many living beings around the planet and the urgency to fight it. I renew my appeal to the leaders of the nations to do something more concrete to limit polluting emissions. It's an urgent challenge and cannot be put off. It concerns everyone. Let us protect our common home. Unhoused populations and anyone who isn't used to long periods of scorching temperatures could be at risk, warned. Palm Spring, California mayor Grace Lena Garner was interviewed by ABC News. When your body isn't used to these high temperatures, it can go into a shock. So if we don't act now, if we don't make sure that we're putting in the, re putting in the actions that we need to uh, reduce the impacts of climate change, we are just going to see this get worse and worse. Asked on ABC's This Week's show whether climate change is a national security threat, Republican Representative Michael McCall replied. The climate is changing. And when you have arid, you know, uh, the Africa, for instance, is becoming more and more arid, which, you know, uh, famine, you know, breaks out of that. Terrorism breaks out of that, those conditions. Last week, China and the United States, the two largest emitters of greenhouse gases, resumed talks on how to tackle the problem. But there were no breakthroughs. It will take a concerted effort to make a difference, said Washington State Governor Jay Inslee on ABC's This Week. This is a solvable problem, but we need to stop using fossil fuels. That is the only solution to this massive assault on humanity. Forecasters expect the heat waves to continue for several more days, if not weeks, in various parts of the world. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.